Hey, Facebook. How y'all doing? YouTube. Uh, I gave me a message. And, you know, this message here is a very important understanding concerning God in the utmost way concerning if you're going to be a part or desire to be a part of his plan. And it's talking about the idea of being one with God. The idea of being one with God. Uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4 talks about hear, O hear, O Israel, the Lord the, our God is one Lord. And it says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, you know, and all thy soul, and all thy might, you know, and the thing is, the idea of, you know, to be more, it first said, hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one, and the thing is, people don't really understand, well, in, in God's people, concerning we talk Judaism, Jew, the Jewish people and Christianity are not understanding the reality of being one with God. Because the thing is, you know, Satan simple Satan I mean Satan has a simple job to me because his simple job is to number one bring division you know, is divide and conquer. That's been Satan's, you know, system ever since he, you know, got kicked out of heaven. You know, well, he, not really, because he played divide and conquer in heaven that got him kicked out of heaven. And divided, you know, people, certain people. And what he does, he get many people divided and and, and encourage them to be individuals, you know, and and will magnify them as individuals and give them a false promise that feels good for them, you know, that they will, you know, love because it's about all about them, selfishness. And the thing is, what happens is driving, the, the being purpose, they become purpose driven in that idea and the more they're purpose driven the more division happens and the thing is people we on earth becomes he suckered the angels now he's suckering us you know people to you know magnify themselves as individuals to be seen as great among men and the thing is, that's all he has to do, you know. But the most important thing as people, if we're of God, if we're one with God, you know, is to become one, to become in unity of the faith, you know, it says in the Bible. And the thing is, you know, it, we need to focus on being one with and the only way it could be folk one is his love. His love, the Lord thy God, you know, his love, love the Lord thy God with all, A-L-L, -L, thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, which is the difficult task that, you know, is seen to certain Christians to do that. And the thing is, it's difficult because of what Satan mag teaches and magnify us to do, to focus on ourselves, focus on our self-image, you know, that we be esteemed among people and people think we're great as individuals. And the thing is, people are not really seeing that it's, it's slick how the system works, you know, with people. I mean, the thing is, they think that, you know, you know, people paying compliments to them concerning what they're doing. And, you know, they get exalted 
and they they don't people don't just doing what they love doing and they get exalted by another person and they don't even know that they're getting exalted highly about another person but they just focus on doing what they're doing and love doing and the thing is you're 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 causing discord without even know that you're doing it because of a system and the thing is what we sh should do is we should confront this system of this individual exalt the individualism and that's going on mainly in churches you know and in church buildings that churches you know big church little church you know and that's what happens. You know, you start to get the big church and the little church and you compare the two and say, you know, which church I go, this church is more better than that church. That church more better than this church. But the church is supposed to be one. You know, the Bible says one Lord, one faith, one baptism. It, it stressed one so many times. It's crazy. And all through the scriptures talking about this one this this one bride there's one bride you know what i'm saying and the thing is you know i watch sports and i what i love watching sports you know whether it's basketball football or whatever i like to see the teamwork and and seeing the teamwork and how teams have to humble themselves you know and work together in order to be more effective at what they're doing you know I watch the I watch every aspect of team and how they function with each other and you know work with each other to in in order to you know accomplish the greater goal of winning a championship and you know I play for a southeast you know high school team and and the thing is you know I love football and I, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, the star. I was the nobody that was sitting on the bench. That, you know, and, but, you know, God made sure that I was the nobody sitting on the bench for a purpose. And the purpose was to watch a team and watch how great a team works. And, you know, I sat back and I sat on the sideline and I watched how my football team worked. You know, my football team was num at that year it was number one in the nation until we got ran into Riverview. But we was number one team in the nation in high school football. But I watched my team, you know, play up to the national I mean to the state title, you know, we went against Dante Cole Pepper and you know and win the national title I mean win the state title. And I saw that, and I watched how a team, you know, ha as as individuals work together and function, you know, and there were a lot of skillful players on the team, you know, and they, they work together, you know, when it's time to work together, you know, to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. And when I saw how that worked, and now became a Christian, and now I'm seeing the church world right now, and I'm like, whoa, you know, what what's going on? I mean, you know, this, you know, Christianity is supposed to be a team, you know. What's all this individual, you know, big church, little church idea thing going on? You know, what's, I mean, the thing is, how are y'all going to win? against the kingdom of darkness and y'all are, are operating as individuals you know this it's not going to work you know is i don't care how great a church you have in whatever city you're at if you're not working together with churches as christians as a body you know of christ you're not going to win and the only way to you know the church world is going to win is to become one body. And, you know, Jesus, you know, when he called me or chosen me to do what my job, he said, Mac, the reason why what you're seeing right now and seeing these denominations and, you know, I, denominations are just, you know, to me, division is a, a motivation of division. 
And the reason why you seeing this stuff, Mac, is that people busy trying to be somebody instead of being spiritually the body. And the thing is, in order for us to truly minister to people all across the world, the world that Jesus Christ, the person we represent, died for, is that we have to become a body. And the only way to become a body is we have to become Romans 12, 1 and 2. You know, present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable with God. We have to sacrifice certain things. We have to sacrifice images to be seen as a great, you know, team. We have to sacrifice to, you know, trying to be seen among people. In order for us to, you know, come together and say, let's come together, let's do this for the community, you know, and try to reflect, you know, Jesus Christ on a, you know, daily basis, you know, that's supposed to be going on, you know. The thing is, let's get, let's get back to, you know, to our body, you know, that Paul, you know, established in the scriptures, you know, and that's the only way. We are going to win. You know, the thing is, people, you know, have to realize that in their heart that they have to make that sacrifice for the greater good, you know, for the sake of souls, eternal souls, you know, you know, going to hell. You know, we have to make this sacrifice if we care about Jesus Christ, if we love, you know, Jesus Christ, if we love what he did for us. We if he sacrificed, we have to sacrifice. And in order for do that, we have to sacrifice our pride and ego and you know being seen as a great whatever to come together in the symbol as a body to overcome the people. And the thing is, you know, that's all about being one. And if if you know and, and the thing is the number one thing I stress so much is fellowship. Fellowship is the number one ingredient that things can only be done. You know, I mean, I know y'all got y'all church buildings. Yeah, but the thing is, fellowship is not about church buildings. It's when you get out of the building, you know, when you meet up with Christians and talk and fellowship and be around, you know, Christians. It's very important. You know, that you meet wherever you go. I don't care where you go in the movies, you know, bowling, whatever. To be around us, to come together and share, you know, and do things to show the example of how to be a Christian in the midst of public. You know, how that you can, you know, reflect Christ among people in what we're doing, you know. And that is a number one start, should be a first start of, you know, being, you know, getting back to the oneness of God is fellowship, you know what I'm saying? And not just with people at your church building, but finding other ch Christians to let's go here and let's have fun in the name of Jesus and show that we can shine a light and have a good time everywhere in any place we go. And I hope that, you know, you can work on that to start the building, you know, process of becoming one with the God. And that's what, you know, needs to be done if we're going to become the winning team that we're supposed to be, the light, the children of light, children of darkness, light shines, darkness flees. We're supposed to be winning, you know, according to the natural reality. All right, that's the word. I hope you be, hope you take heed to what I'm saying. You know, You know, God bless you. To God be the glory, to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.